In this video, I'm going to show you a few slightly more advanced features of Gliss and the Gliss device in Glover. And the first one is set forwards. So set forwards has to do with the yaw orientation, which is this movement from left to right. And this orientation has a middle, forward. And uh, But what, what forward is, is always set at the moment that you open Gliss. Um, if that would drift a little bit, there is a button in um, the orientation panel here in Clover, um, and if you click it, it will set forwards to the orientation that you have your phone in at that moment. So if I click it, it will jump to the middle. So now my, my actual forward is a bit off to the left. But you don't always want to go up to your computer and click this button. So We've made it an output, so you can control this setting forwards with your phone or with another device that you are um, that you use with Glover. Um, so we can find that here if we go um, make an well, combined input output mapping pre mapped, um, and then click the mapping output, and then um, one of the output types we have device feedback. You choose the device, Gliss, and then you can choose set forwards. Um, now we have to connect it to some sort of input. Let's just do a pad. Let's go with pad five, drag that in there. Um, and so now whenever I hit, uh, hit pad five, it will set forwards. Let's have a look at the orientation panel. To, to see this as proof. So I'm going to point it to my right again, click the fifth pad, and it will jump back to the middle. We already briefly saw it. There's a few different types of device feedback that you can send back to Gliss. And the idea is that you can send these messages to your phone. You can get haptic or visual feedback to know what's going on inside Glover. So you don't have to actually look at the screen and you can be somewhere else performing, minding your own business. Um, so let's have a look at what these are. Um, so drag in a device feedback, select the device, and then here we'll see a list. So first off is a vibration. So you can send yourself little buzzes when something is happening. And we have color. And the part of the screen that will change color is this um, this circle in uh, on the pads page and the line underneath the navigation toolbar in Gliss. Um, so we can choose a pick a color. Let's go with this beautiful neon green. Uh, select a pad to change the color. So now when I hit pad one, it should change the the things on the screen. There we go. Another fun feature is that each device has their own unique device ID. So you can see that ID when you hover over the device in, um, in the devices pane here, and you can see the number at, in the info at the bottom of the screen. We don't really care about the number, but it does mean you could have Gliss running on multiple phones and use them as different devices. So you could have two phones at the same time, for example, so you, then you just add another um, another Gliss device, and then you choose from the in the toolbar of the inspector. You can choose which device you want to affiliate to that particular device. You do have to make sure that both the devices um, or all of the devices that you are using are on the same network. 